Turning now to your community focus, tis the season for college bound students to try and secure some financial aid and there are millions available in local scholarships. Joining us now live in studio to talk about that and how you can apply is David Cicilline, the president and CEO of the Rhode Island Foundation. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So today the foundation announced that you have four million dollars in scholarships available. Tell us how that money will impact local students. Sure. So uh, as as you know, the Rhode Island Foundation is one of the oldest and largest community foundations in the country and obviously Rhode Island's only community foundation and a lot of people don't know that we do a big portion of uh, scholarships uh, particularly at this time of year and so we have about four million dollars that will go out to Rhode Island students um, people are encouraged to go to our website rifoundation.org slash scholarship and we're able to do this because of the incredible generosity of Rhode Islanders who understand really investing in a young person's education can change their future. And this is a time of year when lots of young people are getting their acceptance letters, hopefully, or uh, that tell them uh, that they've been accepted into a particular university. And so it's an opportunity where they start to think, how can they finance that? And the Rhode Island Foundation wants to be part of that solution. We also have foundation uh, scholarships for uh, trade schools and uh, the, the vocational schools, so it's not just kind of traditional higher education. Um, and they range and focus on art or nursing, engineering, and everything in between. So dozens of scholarships, um, really hundreds of Rhode Islanders will benefit uh, from $4 million in scholarships. And we want to make sure everyone knows about it, goes to our website, and applies. So the deadline for most of the scholarships is April 15th. Uh, so go to the website as soon as you can. And uh, uh, what can this money be used for? Pretty much anything college related. That's right, college related, uh, tuition, uh, living expenses, a whole range of uh, uh, costs. Look, you know, college remains very expensive and out of reach for most folks. And so uh, it's always a combination of funding and scholarships is part of that. Uh, there, you know, there are scholarships that are focused in particular areas of study. There are scholarships that are focused geographically or certain schools, but dozens and dozens of scholarships that will help hundreds of Rhode Islanders. Uh, and every year it's kind of the high point when we announce those recipients. We have a big gathering to celebrate all the students who have, have received scholarships. But it, last year was a little over $4 million and it will be the same again this year. And I really want to acknowledge the incredible generosity of Rhode Islanders who create funds that support these scholarships because without their generosity, we would not have these scholarships to give students. I was going to ask you, you know, all of these scholarships made possible through uh, donations uh, from uh, people and groups who, who want to see local students supported. Yeah, I mean, it's a really wonderful act of philanthropy. When you think about creating a scholarship or contributing to an existing scholarship fund, you're investing in a young person who will have the ability to go to school, to learn, to become, whether it's a doctor or a lawyer or a school teacher or whatever their interests are. So you're adding to the richness of your community by investing in the education for young people. It's a great way to think about philanthropy. So many people do this and I encourage people who are thinking about what can they do, support one of these scholarship funds and help a fellow Rhode Islander get through school successfully. And uh, you mentioned that deadline coming up soon, April 15th. Uh, people can go to your website for more information. Yes, again, it's Rhode Island, rifoundation.org slash scholarships, and we'll bring up uh, the way to apply to all of the scholarships that are available. Awesome. A lot of important information there. President and CEO of the Rhode Island Foundation, David Cicilline, thanks for being here at 4. Thanks for having me.